This video is sponsored by PCBWay. So what's new today is their updated PCB design service page. They are providing you with certified partners, comprehensive services, plus fast and efficient quotations with a warranty of up to 120 days. And you can also supervise the whole process to ensure best quality. Link is in the description. So guys, uh, this is the armature of a 12 volts, 22 amps permanent magnet DC motor. Now the DC motor was damaged, so I decided to reuse its winding for making the transformer in this project. So guys, I have successfully completed the secondary high voltage winding for this boost converter and I have given it 32 turns. Now I am doing the primary high current winding for an input voltage of 3.7 volts. Here as you can see guys, I am removing the insulation from the newly installed transformer winding by burning it with a lighter. Now this is the center tap switching circuit that I constructed in one of my previous videos. Also guys, that transformer was not taking good enough input current in the primary winding. So I had to further thicken the winding on the primary side. Now let's connect it to the switching supply. The circuit diagram for the switching circuit will be provided in the description. Actually it's a video link in which I constructed the video which also contains the circuit diagram. So yeah at the output of the transformer I am connecting a bridge rectifier so that I can get out DC voltage since it is a DC to DC boost converter circuit from 3.7 volts to 12 volts
So guys, I'm planning on using this 3.7 volts, 8000 mAh battery pack to power up the circuit. Let's measure its voltage. Oh, the voltage is really low. It's only 3 volts and it should be 3.7. So I will have to use another battery. Yeah, this is good enough. 3.5 volts. Now let's connect it to the circuit. Here as you can see guys, the output voltage indicated by the multimeter is fluctuating a lot. So I will have to connect a capacitor at the final output of the rectifier to improve the DC line of the overall circuit output. Now guys, uh, the project is converting 3.7 volts to 12 volts but the capacitor is charging to a voltage of up to 30 volts that is because of the peak charging voltage so it is not a problem because uh, the overall voltage will reduce to 12 volts when I will connect a load to the capacitor that 30 volts is an open circuit voltage but under loading condition the voltage is 11 to 12 volts which is the required target also guys if the circuit is overloaded like under short circuit condition then the output voltage will further reduce to up to 0 volts which is not desired so here you can hear the hissing sound which indicates the switching of the transformer and that the circuit is working now the motor that is operating here is a 24 to 100 volts 6 amperes DC motor it's a medium current DC motor now guys I'm going to give twice more amps here I'm giving 16 amperes to the circuit and also guys the voltage initially was 3.5 volts which was a low voltage for the battery pack now if uh, the input voltage is higher which is like a 3.7 or 3.8 then of course the output voltage will also increase up to 14 volts which is best required now guys this motor that you see here is a 32 amperes DC motor when fully loaded so the circuit is working really nice Now guys you already know this one it's a mini starter motor from a motorbike and you can see that this circuit can also handle this much power. So guys uh, this circuit cannot run this DC motor for a long time because the batteries get drained really fast and the transistors get heated up really quick. So uh, this motor might damage the circuit if used for a longer time. Now guys this is the DC to DC converter. Now it operates at 12 volts and converts it to 220 volts for powering up high voltage loads. So you can see that it is, this is a 9 watts LED bulb which is lighting up with this converter circuit. So guys uh, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching it. Please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you.